This segment of This Week in Agribusiness is brought to you by Case IH. Be ready with Steiger Quad Track and Magnum Road Track Tractors from Case IH. We are back with Steve Freed of ADM Financial Services here at the Farm Progress Show for our discussion on markets this week. We have the September crop report coming up in a few days, Steve. Are you anticipating any surprises? Well, the, any USDA report has a surprise <laughs> in it. Um, the August report was the biggest miss by analysts ever. And so obviously the analysts hope that the numbers come out a little bit lower. Uh, but usually the September numbers don't change a lot because they haven't got into the harvest data yet. Um, where the harvest data is, there's some areas that the corn is really good and, and might be a little bit better than what they were saying. Uh, but they don't have any new soybean data than they had before. I guess the market is anticipating that maybe the bean yield is going to be, when it's all said and done, down a bushel. And maybe the corn yield is going to be down maybe three bushels. But in the big picture thing, that's not enough to economically change price because we have to look at demand, and I think in the soybean market, we're a little bit worried that they're overstating demand. Um, in corn, we might actually see less acres planted in South America this year, and so we could actually buy some demand uh, down the road, and, and that might help the corn market after the first of the year. Any idea of how low our soybean price would have to go to discourage Brazilian farmers from planting soybeans? You know, I, I don't know if there's a price because they're talking about cutting corn acres by as much as 20% and increasing bean makers by as much as 3 to 5%. So they've already made that decision. And, and that's because of the, of the lower prices of corn and the higher cost of inputs. So, um, you know, I, I think the market's going to try to hold maybe 50, 60, or maybe 70 cents lower from here. We don't really need to go below that price level yet, uh, but, but I, I think that we have to find value which is lower. And then as we approach this year's harvest time, what should U.S. producers be doing, if anything, in the marketplace right now? You know, each farmer is different. We, you know, we know the farmers that have high rent, high machinery costs. Uh, there's no price right now that can help them out. Um, what I think is going to happen is I think after harvest corn prices are going to go up. They need to be scale up sellers. Uh, they maybe buy some calls uh, to take advantage of that. Uh, I think right now the soybean prices might go down. So then maybe they should buy some put options to protect against the prices going down. After the first of the year, we'll see what Mother Nature has in store for us next year. But I think a lot of farmers will be betting on next year's prices might be higher than they are today. And you did mention that there's a lot of forward buying going on for next year. Is that unusual? Um, I think if I'm an end user, especially in corn, this is a really good price. Um, sometimes when we go from a strong El Nino to La Nina, uh, the U.S. summer is drier than normal. I mean, we can't guarantee that. But if I'm a user of corn and I've got a margin in it, I'm buying corn today. Steve, as always, we appreciate your expertise and thank you for joining us here at the Great Farm Progress Show. Thank you for all that you do for agriculture, Orion. All right, Steve Freed with ADM Financial Services, joining us on This Week in Agribusiness.